Welcome to my channel, Mispronounce Adventures. My name's Alex, and welcome to my MAN TG four wheel drive adventure van build. Now, this is a really small segment and a short video taken from my larger build series, because in it, when I'm installing a dash camera, I need to use an ignition live. So this is gonna be a quick video to show you where you find an ignition live easily on an MAN TGE or a VW Crafter. Consider checking out the rest of the channel. There might be other little short videos you find helpful, or consider checking out the rest of the build series, or some of my techie how-to videos for my Ford Transit, and where I take my vans and do silly things with. Such as four winters living in the Arctic in my last van, getting down to minus 38, New personal record, minus 38. Weathering blizzards, fixing diesel heaters, fixing a broken van, northern lights, crashing into a ditch, and plenty more shenanigans. But let's get on to the actual video. Easiest way to get the ignition live is in here, the fuse box underneath the seat. Now, in the strictest sense, this isn't necessarily an ignition live signal. It's using these fuses here, and these are ignition live circuits. So whilst two of them are populated, I'm gonna use B26, which is this empty one here, which I think according to the manual is normally for a tipper truck. And this is obviously not a tipper, so that's open. And the rest of that central row would work as well. And it has no pins in the output, but it does have pins in the input. The whole central bottom row of the smaller fuses are also ignition live circuits as well, so they can also be used. And to actually access it, I'm just gonna use a piggyback fuse holder and plug it in there. Now, in the context of my dash cam, it's actually looking for the ignition live to be off to know to when it's turning into parking mode, it's not powering the device itself. As for the power supply, which is actually gonna run the dash cam, can I hard run it? I'm gonna use this fuse down here. And these are permanent lives. And according to the manual, that's just an unassigned fuse slot. Not all of them are actually populated with the metal pins. So I'm gonna use another slightly different size fused holder to go in there. That's gonna be the actual power supply, which runs the dash cam. Now to quickly test it, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have a little LED flickering flame candle on it. Put it into my chosen fuse, and there is a little negative point. I'm just gonna rest the negative on. All right, hopefully that is in frame there. And I'm gonna rock around the other side of the van and put the ignition key in. And there we go. Ignition on. Ignition off. And just to demonstrate the other one as well. So this one is gonna be my live. So keys are currently in my hand and live. Let's take it out again. Technically not a signal. I'm gonna use it for the parking mode on the dash cam. Some people might use it for a DC-DC charger as a D plus signal, although do remember that this is an ignition live, not an engine live. And definitely don't be running your DC-DC charger directly off this fuse box. You could run that off one of the main MIDI fused accessory terminal found around the starter battery itself. Right, you can't see very well, because I can't really get my tripod to stay in this position permanently. But um, this is the little studs which they use and you can just just more slots in it. So I'm gonna add ground to there and then get my fuses in. All right, ground connection down. Plenty thick for five amp. And the actual power supply is only rated to two amp at five volt output anyway. So that is permanent in. That is a 10 amp fuse, which I'm gonna drop down to something appropriate later. ACC in, right. And that's it, plenty of different reasons you might need an ignition live, but I hope that's helped. If you need to power a high powered item, it might be worth using a relay and then the ignition live circuit as the trigger for the relay or one of the starter battery accessory terminals. This is probably the easiest method to get access to an ignition live, but there are other ways like using a bit of kit on the canvas. Once again, if you found this sort of video useful, consider checking out the rest of the channel. But if you're just here to find where an ignition live is, hopefully that's helped. And well, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye.